What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the 3.0 Mobile Movie Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. So this is obviously a repaint of their Bumblebee Movie, Movie Optimus Prime that came out a while ago. I thought I had looked at this mold, but apparently I had not. So this is the first time looking at this mold, but also looking at this recolor. This was sent to me by Dr. Diecast, or Sanjay, as I call him. I got to hang out with him at TFCon. It was really awesome. And he sends me cool stuff like this. Speaking of repaints, he started a Facebook group called Transformers Exclusives, Repaints, and Customs. Really cool. Every day there's something neat to look at. If you're interested in joining that group, I'll put the link in the description below. And you can click that and go join that group. Some really awesome photos and pictures and videos and all sorts of stuff. So let's get into this figure. And let's take a quick 360. You can see they did put the bullet hole there. It is actually a hole. It's not just paint. That's really, really cool looking. Got the nice purple paint here. You got the wash over the silver, wash over the wheels. The blue here is painted nicely. Here's the back. Nothing is left undetailed. Of course, this doesn't transform. This is a action figure, but really, really clean and nice looking all the way around. Every piece. A little bit of weathering here on the side. Overall, really, really good looking. Now this is very similar to the other figures we looked at from 3.0, but I'll take a look through the accessories. So you do get this weapon here. Nice painted gun. It also has a wash and a weathering to it. You can fit this in his hand. Obviously not this hand. So you get these fisted hands by default. And they are painted and weathered and they look nice. So you get a bunch of hands, so you get these expressive hands. Those look nice. You get slightly different expressive hands. So this one's more like a reaching hand. This one's more like an open palm. You get a trigger finger, which we need for the gun. And then you get one of these, which is a two finger pointing and I don't know the reference to this, but this goes on this arm, and that's cool. So let's get the trigger fingered hand onto this gun. That's all the accessories, by the way. So we'll get this around here. It does just have, you know, pliable plastic there, so you can get it on there. And then we'll go ahead and get this on the ball peg. Uh, I do recommend just kind of wiggling it rather than trying to force it on. Uh, but there you go. There is the gun. It does look good. Now if you want to double wield it with both hands, I recommend using this, uh, let's see, which one? This one right here. That's probably the best looking one. And then, oop, let's get that on there. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult to get these hands onto the ball pegs. So we'll do the wiggle, 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 and then there you go. He can be posed with this thing. That looks really nice. Nice weapon and nice hands for, for the weapon. Um, I do have this little piece here that, that keeps falling off. I did ask Sanjay about this and he mentioned that it was falling off in the box. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to glue it, but I would suggest gluing it to him because otherwise it's just going to constantly fall off. So we'll set that aside. Now the articulation on this thing is absolutely insane. It has a lot of articulation. We're going to go over it, but I, I may even miss something because there's so much. So uh, Let's get in close on the head so you can see this head sculpt really Really beautiful. Probably one of the best head sculpts we've had for this Bumblebee Optimus Prime. I think this is one of the best I've seen. Even obviously better than the MPM Optimus Prime and even the Toy World. I think this is one of the best, if not the best. 
So for articulation, you have the head on a hinge here for the neck, and then the head itself is on a ball joint, so you can get the head up to there, down to there, but because of that extra neck joint, you can get way down, way up, and side to side, and rotation all the way around. That's really nice. The shoulders are very, very complex, so you have a rotation here that goes all the way around. You do want to be careful with the paint here. It suggests not moving this up like that without pulling this outwards. Uh, this is on a C-clip, so you just be careful with that. It does tend to pop off, but this also lifts up and down for articulation, of course. You have butterfly joints here that go in and out. This, leave that off. This piece here does go up and down. And then the arm itself can go up and down as well. And that's why this piece kind of moves out of the way. It's so that you can get this piece up and it doesn't uh, hinder. You can take some of these panels off. I've noticed that they have some pieces that aren't, you know, glued or anything. They're just kind of press fit. And that's fine. It works. You have a rotation at the bicep. You have a double jointed elbow. Gets you that auto morphing kind of look there where some of the pieces move. That's really nice. You have a rotation at the elbow as well. So two rotations here on this arm. You get the hand is on a ball joint, so it rotates around, it goes in and out. Whoops. And then this ball joint itself does move, so you can see this has its own movement. So you get plenty of movement out of these hands and wrists. They really can do anything. Anything you need. A lot of detail there on the arms. You can see there's just all sorts of good looking sculpt there. The abs have a huge articulation, so it goes down to there. And you have to be careful not to collide anything. And then down again. So you can see there's the back with it fully extended. Let's put it back. So that's what it looks like normally. You have one bend up here, and then you have another bend down here. That's just uh, really some incredible stuff. Now, again, this doesn't transform, so they're labeled to do stuff like that because it's an action figure, but still very, very impressive. And all that purple and silver detail looks great. You can get these hip skirts out of the way, and the legs will go up to there. They are on a, see, the drop down joint? Yeah, they are in a drop down joint. Just like the other Optimus, you can get the, oops, and we knocked this off. Luckily, it's just on a ball peg, so just get that back on the ball peg. I'd move that out of the way, but you can get the leg really high up on that joint, and then you can push that drop-down joint back in. It goes out to the side. Again, be careful, move things out of the way. Nice, tight friction joints. Everything feels smooth and nice here. You have a rotation at the thigh. You have a double jointed knee with some automorphing technology here. So this piece here is independent. So that kind of sits right there. And then as you rotate, you see all this comes down to cover. So really, really cool. You have angle tilts out this way, out that way, forward and backward. You have a little uh, toe armor and then you have a heel armor here that it moves up and down. They do just kind of sit there. They don't really do anything but they move out of the way for you. And on the back here you have this piece which does get out of the way so you can get the foot in and up. And that's the piece where I said there's a piece of armor that falls off so you can kind of get that up and out of the way. There's what it looks like with the armor on. So really really incredible articulation on this. These wheels are uh, Basically real rubber tires. This one seems to move. I'm not sure this one is kind of stuck, but the wheels themselves look great. So there you go for their uh, articulation. Since this fell off, I'll show you what it does. So this is a cover for the stand. This just sits right here. Like that. So if you take off that cover, obviously there's a port there and you can use the included stand. These stand are all exactly the same. I have, there's no difference between the previous 3.0 stands I've reviewed. So if you're interested in seeing everything this can do, you can check out my previous reviews for 3.0. Uh, but this is gonna fit right into here. Let me get this up a little bit higher. 
and basically you can get that plugged in right there into his back and now you can pose him and do some cool stuff with that. So final thoughts on the 3.0 Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Let's start about the positives. The articulation is out of this world. I did forget to mention he does have a waist swivel here. He has a swivel at the ab crunch and he has a swivel down here. So, I mean, really whatever you need. It's just, it's, it's got everything. Uh, the, but it is really uh, the best, one of the best articulations I've ever seen. It also, the paint is really, really well done. So you can see fully detailed. There's nothing left uncovered, unpainted. Every accessory, every part of the body is, is well done. Um, I do like the, the gun, although it's relatively simple on this one. There's not a lot of accessories, but it's the right ones and, and they work. Maybe an axe would have, have worked here. Now, I don't remember this guy being in the movie. So this is just kind of a re repaint, recolor, using your imagination. There's no, uh, there's no scene that this is trying to recreate. But I love the colors they've chosen. I love the look of this. I think it's a really, really nice looking version of Optimus. I do like the two finger, and that's kind of unique for uh, for this mold, is you get the two finger posed hand. At least I think it is unique, I don't remember. These stands also work really well, that's positives. Uh, the only negative I have is these panels tend to pop off a little too easily when you're manipulating it. I, you know, I don't love when things just pop off like my figures. I wish it's a little bit more sturdy. Uh, same for these hands, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to get on there. So they, they tend to pop off a little bit easy. But that's really it for negatives. Love this figure, highly recommend it. If you like Shattered Glass and you like these color schemes, then you're going to love this Optimus Prime. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Dr. Diecast Sanjay for sending this to me. We'll see you next time.